Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kitty. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my budget-friendly entryway makeover. I've been wanting to transform this space for a while. It's just one of those spaces where I've never really been happy with it, but there's other rooms I've been working on, so it's just kind of been left alone. But it really is the first thing people see when they walk into our home. I decided one random afternoon that I was gonna start transforming this space. I started researching wallpapers and accent walls, and that evening I started working on my accent walls. It was just one of those things that once I got the idea, I was not gonna let it go. And because I love thrifting and thrift hauls and frugality, I decided why not make this an uh, entryway makeover on a budget. So I set out to do something along the lines of a $100 room challenge, and I actually stayed right around that budget. Yeah, let's just jump into it. I'm going to show you exactly what I did, what I got, and how our entryway was transformed on a budget. Like any great vlogger, I did not film a lot of beginning footage, but I was able to go back to Instagram and find some previous footage of what our entryway looked like prior to me taking it all apart. So this is what you guys see here. As you can see, it is a really narrow space and it was just kind of boring I didn't really put a lot of effort into it there wasn't a lot of space to work with but I knew that I could easily spruce it up and make it more my style so I want to start off by sharing with you guys some inspiration pictures I found on Pinterest as you can see my style is very boho Scandinavian mid-century modern clean lines I just really love the modern feel and so that was my inspiration going into this I've pinned all of these pictures on my entryway Pinterest board. I will link that for you guys in the description below if you want to check that out. And I really decided going into it that I wanted to do a wallpaper accent wall, but once I started looking into it, it was just going to be too expensive in order to stay within my $100 budget. So I found this blog by Classy Clutter. I will link them below as well. And they did an accent wall using a Sharpie paint pen. Now I had never done this before, but after reading the blog, I was super pumped to try it out. And I'll go ahead and share a little bit of that process with you guys now. Right, it's a little bit difficult to see, but I have all of the vertical lines drawn. So now I'm gonna go in and do the horizontal lines like this. Catch you guys up, show you where we're at. So if you wanna come up closer, you can see there's X's on the wall. Essentially all we're doing is we're taking our squares. I'm lining up both of these lines here. And then all I'm doing is stenciling it in with the pencil. So if you get up closer, you can see we're about 75% done. I'm gonna finish this and then we're gonna start with the painter. Pen. So I just finished stenciling the wall. It looks so good. It did start getting tedious. Maybe you're more artistic than me and you are good at freehanding. That is just not my strength. So I stenciled it in. Now I'm gonna use the paint pen. I have never used one of these before, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that it looks okay because this was a lot of work, so I don't really wanna start over. But yeah, that's where we're at and fingers crossed, guys. I really want this to work. Okay, confession time. I started tracing and down here, this is the original pattern. But the more I did that, the more I realized it looks really busy. So now I'm to the point where I am just drawing in random lines and I'm thinking of doing an abstract wall where there is no rhyme or reason to the pattern. I'm just filling in random lines and seeing how it's gonna turn out. If a wall full of these, I think it's gonna look too busy and too planned and I want this to look modern and fresh so we'll see how this turns out. Yeah. 
Okay, so I just finished all the gold marking. It's looking so good. Unfortunately, where I had gone in with the original pattern that I don't like, it's not flowing with the rest of the abstract wall. So I'm gonna have to pull out some white paint and do some touch up. Unfortunately, I didn't know at first to use the magic eraser as soon as I had made an imperfection. So when I let that paint set, I couldn't get it off afterwards. So we're gonna take some white paint, go in, clean everything up, and then we will be done with this fun abstract wall. So in the midst of working on the accent wall, I was also on the hunt for a new entryway table. Now I did try to thrift this, but I was not able to find what I was looking for because the space is so narrow, we needed a really narrow table and that was proving to be very difficult. So I did go online, I went to Target and I started browsing on the Target website. I just searched entryway tables and I ended up saving two that I liked and those are the two I'm gonna share with you guys here. The first of which was just a simple black table and I like the classic design on this. I like the simple lines. I had seen this style on Instagram before and I really liked it but I was just feeling that I wanted something a little bit different and more of a modern edge. So then I found this industrial table and I fell in love with it. As you guys can see, the price is a little bit high with trying to stay within that $100 budget. But you know, I went ahead and I purchased that table at that price point because I really wanted it and I didn't want to just like get something that I didn't like just to stay within the budget. Thankfully, a few days later, I went back on Target's website and I saw that they had it on sale for $84. So I was able to contact customer support and they refunded me the difference. So I did end up getting this table for $84, which allowed me to once again stay within my $100 room challenge budget. It was then time to go out thrifting for some decor items and you guys, I had the best luck ever. So as you will see here, I found several great pieces that I decided to incorporate into my styling of the entryway. I was super excited with what I found. So we have the accent table and we have our accent pieces. Now it's time to style the space and make it exactly the way that I want it. So now when you walk in, the first thing that you see the updated entry and I am so happy with how this turned out. All right, and there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, add me to Instagram, subscribe to my channel for future videos like this. I love doing these projects, and the best part, it was on a budget, it was super affordable, and it completely transformed the space. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.